good morning all of you today discuss this question we can discuss this question read the question find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be multiplied to obtain a perfect cube here the given numbers are not perfect cube but we want to uh, find out by multiplying which number we can uh, make it a perfect cube number just like in the squares also we do like this question which number we want to add or which number we want to subtract and multiplication and division also in the case of square numbers also so here the given number it is not a perfect cube number but by multiplying by which number we can make it a perfect cube that is the question for that first we try and factorize the given number okay when we factorize the given number it will be uh, we can divide by 3 okay 81 3 27 3 9 so when we write its prime factorization how many 3's are there 5 into 3 into 3 and if it is a perfect cube we know that its prime factors will occur in triplets okay triplets we will get but here we got one triplet we got triplet of 1 3 but other two threes are not in triplet one more three need there to make it a triplet one more three is needed there so which number we should multiply to get a perfect cube we multiply by one more three so multiply 243 by three to get a perfect cube so next we can write we can write the answer as multiply 243 by 3 because we need here one more 3 to make a triplet here only two threes are there but we need three threes or triplets of three we need to get a perfect cube so which number we multiply we should multiply by three then here also we will get another triplet so that number should be multiplied by 243 just like this number this number is also not a perfect cube which number we should multiply to get a perfect cube for that we factorize this uh, uh, 3 it is possible with 3 so in 15 5 again with 3 75 3 um, 5 then 5 5 so here also when we write its prime factors 3 have a triplet but the number 5 is not in triplet one more 5 is needed to make a triplet there so which number we should multiply 675 multiply by which number 5 to get a perfect cube number okay this is very easy just like sometimes the question will ask like this find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be divided instead of multiplied which number should be divided to get a perfect cube that type question also we can expect in that case also what we want to do find out the its prime factorization so if any one extra after that triplet if any other number is extra that number should be divided for example you one question 81 here with 81 81 which uh, multiply we should divide by 81 to get a perfect cube that is the question in this case also we are factorize the given number 81 we can uh, factorize by 3 27 will get again with the 3 9 3 3 so we know 81 we got all these prime factors as 3 into 3 into okay so here we got one triplet we already got to make it a perfect cube which number we should divide here this 3 should be divided by 81 okay when we divide 81 by 3 we will get its prime factors we will get 3 into 3 into 3 that number is 27 we know 27 is a perfect cube so the no need of finding that here the question is which number we should be divide 
by 81 to get a perfect cube. So after that prime factorization, find out the number which is in, not in, triplet. If there is only one number without any triplets, that number is 3. So we should divide by 3. The number 81 divided by 3 to get a perfect cube. Another example, 128. So, 128 you want to divide by which number to get a perfect cube. In that case also, we are finding its prime factorization. So, it will be 64, 2, 32, 2, 16, 8, 4, 2. Here we got how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So, 7 times. So when we take its triplets like this, here, which number is outside that triplet 1, 2 is remaining after that triplet. So this number 128, we should divide by which number 2 to get a perfect cube. Okay, that's also very easy. Next we can discuss about cube roots. Just like square root, what will be cube roots? That is the inverse of cube. Okay. So, inverse operation of squaring that we know that is square roots. Just like inverse operation of cube is cube roots. Okay. We know 3 cube we know that is 27. Okay. So, for cube, uh, 3 cube. Okay. 3 cube we know that is 27. So, Cube root of 27. Cube root we can use the symbol for square root we use the symbol just like this symbol. This symbol is for square root. But for cube root we use the symbol same symbol and we want to write one 3 the Okay this is called the cube root. So if 3 cube equal 27 then cube root of 27 will be what 3. Okay then under we know for cube we know that is 64. So cube root of 64 equal 4. Just like. Okay. This way that is the cube root. Cube root means opposite of cube is called a cube roots. Then just like prime um, square roots we can find out cube root of a number by prime factorization. Okay. How we can find out the uh, prime uh, cube root of 64 by prime factorization we can look so we want to find out cube root of 64 okay this already we know this is a smaller number that we know its cube root is 4 but how we can find out through prime factorization that we can check so for that first we factorize the given number 64 so we got 32 to 16 divided by 2 8 4 this way we will get so 64 we can write the number 64 is prime factorization we can write it as how many times 6 times 2 3 4 5 6 then take its triplets ok so 64 is equal to 2 cube instead of this 2 into 2 into 2 we can write it as 2 cube into another 2 cube also. Therefore, cube root of 64 will be equal to 2 into 2 only. Okay, 2 into 2. Take the number only without that power. That will be its cube root. We know 64 equal 2 cube into 2 cube. So, cube root of 64 will be 2 into 2. That is equal to 4. Okay, so this way we can find out the cube root of bigger number also using the prime factorization method. One question we can discuss. Ten thousand six hundred forty-eight. You want to find out the cube root of the question is find the cube root of ten thousand six hundred forty-eight. For that we are factorizing the number 10,648. We can divide by 2, 4, 5, 3, 2, 4. Then again with the 2, 6, 12, 6, 2. Okay. Again with the 2, 1, 3, 3, 
1. Next is possible only with uh, 3 is not possible, 5 also not possible. Next, 11 will be. It work can be divided, divided by 11. 1 in 23, 2 in 21 again. Mm, no, no. In 13, how many 11? 1. Then in 23, how many? 2. 22. So 11 again 1. So 11 into 11. So this number 10,648 we can write it as. We want to write this type. First that number prime factorization we can write it as. How many times 2? 3 times. And how many times 11? 3 times 11. Okay. So we can make a triplet form. Therefore cube root of 10,648 equal. From this triplet we can take 1, 2. From the next triplet we can take 1, 11 also. So what will be is cube root? It will be 2 into 11, 22. Clear? It is very easy. Just like finding square root through prime factorization method. So all of you study this method and I will give some homework question also. If any doubts you can call me and today's uh, revision test question also all of you try to attend. Okay, thank you.